me do this. Hi guys. So I have had questions on how I take a book and turn it into a journal. And I think I have a video already similar to this, but I decided because I'm gonna be working on this. Um, hold on, let me just log on here. Let me log on. <clears throat> Sorry guys, let me just log on on my tablet just to make sure I can see okay cool okay so I have here I want to make this little little red hen this is from 1950 something I can't remember exactly but I've had it for a while and I've wanted to make a journal out of it and then I am going to, I already gutted it, so it's only a one signature. So what I did was I just laid it like that and then I just sliced off the spine. That's what I've done so far. I pulled out the story because this whole story is going to be in it and I'm going to show you how I make a spine for this. I normally check the dimension of of the book against uh, chipboard and this is going to work perfectly this piece of chipboard is like the same dimension so if it was thicker I would double this to make it thicker but this is going to be right and I want my spine to be uh, two inches so I'm going to cut this at two inches I used my little mat here that's seen better days. And I'm going to go two inches. Because the book is not going to be big. I probably should do two and a half inches. No, two inches is fine. <laughs> I can make up my mind. So I'm going to cut it. Hope you guys are doing great. I decided I wanted a craft. Then it's longer, but since this has a curve, and this side's not gonna have a curve, I'm gonna take a little off the top, a little bit off the bottom. So that is what I am going to do. So that they're both square. And hopefully I didn't cut too much. Okay, now I'll just do this, line it up with the cover so that I know it's the same width, press it, oh, I got out, okay, press it down, and I'm just going to basically score, and then once I have my line down, I'm going to, and this, you guys probably have seen this a million times before, but I'm going to do it for maybe newbies who, who haven't. So I hope you guys don't mind. So now I have my two inch spine. And what I like to do um, to give it support is I use Tyvek. Um, I got these off of Amazon, but if you have like, you know, the post office uh, envelopes that are Tyvek, I, I use that too. I just cut it, recycle them, you know, cut them and and use them because they are super strong. And you know what, guys? I don't know what I did with my periods. Oh my God. So it's not gonna be long that way, but I can cut it this way. And that's gonna be just about right because I like, you know, it just gives it extra support. And Cut this. So now that I have my spine, I'm going to glue Tyvek on the spine. I'm going to show you. And this is going to be super secure. 
Guys, my fibromyalgia is so bad. Uh, you can see my knuckles are swollen. Ooh. So it's even hard to squeeze this bottle. It's terrible. It burns. So get your glue on your spine. And I'm very generous with it. And I love my um, my Fabri-Tac. That is my go-to glue. I am in love. I love it because it adheres anything and everything. And it doesn't wrinkle up your paper, which is awesome. Other glues will wrinkle up your paper, but not, not this one. So, and I like to like wiggle it a little. And I'll flip it and press. And then I'm going to have, make sure that you have your covers the right way. So my cover, in order for it to open this way, I'm gonna put it on the left. And this one will go on the right. Okay. Let me get my other ruler to help me out here. I put it at the bottom of my little chipboard. And then I will just add glue here. And I go maybe like an inch in to give that support. Let's do this side, might as well. Oh, guys, this is a struggle. But I gotta do it, right? Here we go. I'm gonna line my my ruler, and I go and I leave a quarter of an inch gap between the actual cover and the spine. So I put it there. Then I go a quarter of an inch here, and then I measure to make sure that I am a quarter of an inch. a quarter of an inch at the bottom quarter of an inch at the bottom and then here I need to push it in a little hair quarter of an inch and here I need to separate it a little hair quarter of an inch there you go. and then I press so the ruler helps my covers to be aligned and then I have a quarter of an inch gap Let me see if I have a little, a little wipey. I'll just wipe the excess. It's such a beautiful day out today, guys. It looks like a, and it looks and it feels like a spring day. And yesterday was so yucky. It was raining. It was cold. It was cloudy. Oh, and today is like night and day. Like that. Once I have that, I'm gonna flip it. my brayer and just make sure I press it and then I'm gonna flip over and I will come with my knife and cut off the excess and Tyvek doesn't Rip, so you gotta literally cut it. Yeah, so I'm excited to make these little, these little books. Okay, so that is my cover. 
If you notice, I didn't glue all the way because I only want like half an inch. So this excess I will cut off. And the same over here. Hope the lighting's okay, guys. I don't want to cover all of my my um, my title, so I'm gonna push it over a little bit more, and then I'll cut because I'm gonna be using the cover as it is. I'm not going to be um, covering it with fabric, as I like the little hen in the front. use this real quick carefully because if I cut this cover I'll have a culinary okay and then we're just gonna you know I would go in and cover that edge with some lace or something but see I'm coloring I need to go even more I still have a good three quarters of an inch Um, grabbing my my cover so I'm not worried about that I love that Fabri-Tac because you can just roll it right off too you know it's it's forgiving for just a little bit for a little while now I will come and cut okay I still have my little title, Little Red Hen. All right. And then I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to put another piece of Tyvek because this is not going to have fabric. So I need to make sure that these covers are nice and sturdy. talking about the game. He's obsessed with football. I can't stand football. I guess I get so much of it that I just can't stand it. <laughs> football. He is a football fiend. All right. So I'm going to try to straighten this out a little bit. Now I'm going to start at the middle. And I am going to add more glue. Guys, you know what? I messed up. I put my covers wrong. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh. All right, hopefully I still have time to switch. Yep. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Do not do that. This is live. See, we're not perfect. We make mistakes too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. This is the inside. So this has to go here. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'll do this really fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm so mad. So mad. All right, we'll do the same thing. Just make sure your covers are in the right position, guys. Don't do what I just did. I am so sorry. So sorry. But, you know, things happen. But if you catch them in time, you can fix them. Right? Let's put this one here. Make sure that my covers are going to be right. 
So it would close like this. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah, we're good. We all make mistakes and boo-boos. Here I am trying to teach you something and I mess up. Total fail. Okay, and we're gonna measure again, make sure everything is straight. Total fail. And we want this to be a quarter of an inch away. Ugh. Okay, now my covers are straight. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. I feel so dumb. Make sure that it's a quarter of an inch apart. Oh, you people. Sorry. Okay. Oof, that was a close call though. Just make sure that you will <laughs> that you grab your covers and you align them and see and make sure that they are they're gonna close the way they're supposed to close all right so now we'll go to the back part now that that disaster is over and we're gonna do this I go in the in the little channel and I spread it Where's my little silicone one? There it is. I spread it. I make sure that it gets in the channel. Because you're going to have one side that's going to be straight and one side that's going to have the little channel. And that's the side with the channel that has to go in the outer. So, I'm just going to press in. I use the ruler. See, now you have that little channel. And we'll do the same on this side. Spread it. These little thumbs, uh, silicone, they're great because the glue doesn't um, stick to your fingers. And it doesn't stick to this either. And I found these at the Dollar Tree in the nail section. And I think it was like five of them for a dollar. And they are great. All right, so this is gonna be covering my L, so I need to cut this a little more because I don't want to cover my title. And then a, a piece of fabric or lace can go right on the spine so you don't see that. So I think that's fine. It's covering just a little bit, but I need my Tyvek to have some adhesion to the cover, so I'm going to have to lose a little bit of that L. All then we'll go on this side. Let me get this glue off. I'm rusty with tutorial guys I'm sorry I want to do more of these I don't know if you guys will like it or not but I figure I can turn on the camera when I'm making ephemera and you know maybe you guys can get an idea if I don't mess up like I just did <laughs> oh my god so you guys let me know if you want if you will be interested to seeing me, you know, just crafting with me, making handmade ephemera and inventing things. Okay. Got that. It's an old book, so it has some stains. I although I wiped it with my um baby wipes, but you know, it's an old book, it's from the 50s, so. And it's going to have stains, but I, I think that adds to the charm of it. And this is why I love my um, 
my fabric tap because it's so forgiving and just look it just rolls right off see so there we go I don't know how to edit so <laughs> this is what what you see is what you get all right so now we'll turn it over and we will cut this off on this one And now you have put together your book. So I would just add some fabric here, lace, and then add fabric here, and then a little lace. Not too big because, not too wide because I don't want to cover my little, little hen. So, let me see if I find something really quick. I should have, I should have taken that lit, that fabric out, but I didn't. So let me see if I find some fabric really fast. And you know what? I think I like this one. I like this fabric. Isn't that pretty? So I think I'll use that for the spine and then my book cover will be ready so let's cover this up cut off the salvage edge i got this fabric from joann's it's super pretty they had a 30 percent off uh discount on their fabrics uh a couple weeks ago Cutting it off. Okay. Now I will add it. Uh glue is acting up so I'll start here add a string of glue can you guys see what I'm doing just push it up and I will take this because I don't like seepage through my fabric so if you spread out your your glue thin you won't get the seepage hopefully but because I'm showing you I might <laughs> line that up and we'll still put a little piece of lace here. Once that's down, then I'm gonna go into my little channel here. Spread that. Hi, capsule. How you doing, honey? Just doing a little video here because I know I have some newbies and they were wondering how how I take a book and you know and build a cover to use as a journal. And then I push it into the channel. This can use a little bit more glue here. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up in the beginning because I didn't 
think to um, line up my my covers the right way so I had to redo the covers and flip them <laughs> it figures because I'm online and I went live and that would happen <laughs> of course so add that to the spine and then just spread it see if you spread your glue thin yeah, I know it happens, but I hate when it happens when I'm recording. But you know what? That way newbies can see that it's okay. Mistakes do happen. We have we have mistakes. We have boo-boos. It's a matter of just fixing them. And then I push in again. So I have that little channel. And then here, I'm just going to cut, try to cut straight, but it really, you know, you don't have to be too perfect about it because that little edge will have lace. Hi, Mantro. Yeah, nothing is perfect. You're right. <laughs> if only, right? Nothing in life is perfect. If it's perfect, it's fake. It's a lie. Okay, let me try to even this down here, just a tad. There we go. And now, just glue that part. So now your book has double strength because it has the Tyvek and it has the fabric. And that is how you do the front and then I would just put some lace here and lace here to finish it off nice so then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna do the same thing and cut that up if you want it you could have um, folded this over but I didn't want to do that I just cut it I like the edge I like when it looks handmade you know I get my Tyvek off of Amazon um, it's not very expensive either I just get the the packs but if you have like USPS you know those envelopes the priority mail envelopes that's the same thing. I, I um, when I get mail and stuff, I'll save those two and I'll just cut the part that I can use on the journal. Um, yeah, so I think Walmart might also carry Tyvek. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I do get mine on Amazon. I'll show you. I get... I have them in two sizes because I also, these are great too for when you want to make a, a soft cover journal because you just fold it in half and you don't have to do anything else to it but just cover it with fabric or something. Um, they're so strong. So this one is the six by nine and you get a five pack you want here. So you can see, you can enter that in Amazon and and it'll show you, it'll come up. And then this one's the nine by 12 and it's also a 15 pack. All right. All right, so now we go and we wanna cover the inside of the spine. And like I said, I don't wanna cover anything else but the spine because I like the images. And that's the, the cuteness of you know these little books so I do want to try to even this up a little bit so you know what I'm cutting with my with these scissors and I do have fabric scissors but and it's only at an arm's length I just realized that I'm so ditzy today 
So we're gonna go and we're going to add your glue all over. Ooh, my hand hurts. Oh, guys. And this is going to be super strong now. So you can turn any book just like that into a journal. You know? And you want to be generous because you don't want your fabric to bubble up and stuff when you fold it. And if there's a gap that doesn't have glue, it kind of like wrinkles up when you fold it, you know, when you when you um open and close your journal, and I don't like that. You know, spread it out. And these little guys I found at the Dollar Tree. Five for five for a dollar. They're actually made for removing nail polish out of your fingers. Out of your fingernails, not your fingers. And they're super great. Let me try to straighten this out a little. And this is going to have lace, and I'll show you how, to, how I do that. So I'm not too worried about it not being so perfectly even. And then I'm just going to cut here. Chico. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. So there you have it. That is how you would cover it. And now you have your book. So to cover this, let me see what lace I want to use. I think I'll use. How about, how about this? I think that'll look cute there. That's what I'm gonna do. So, let's glue that down. Yeah, I'm so happy that I'm finally getting to um, to do these journals that I've been, I've had them for, like I said, like a year. And I have a couple of customs that I have to get on, but I think I can make these in between. And then we'll do the same on this side. And guys, I am um, resin obsessed right now, too. I made two more geode resin arts. I'll show you those in a minute. And there it is, the inside. And I think for the outside, I'll probably use a different uh, trim. Maybe a little wider one, a little, but not too wide because I don't want to lose my little title. But that is super cute. And that is how you finish off the inside. Oh.
oh yeah cat so you don't have to it's very simple if you see the beginning you're going to be like what is she doing because i didn't really realize how i was placing my covers but um once you figure out you know just make sure okay if i have it like this and i close it it's going to be right but i fixed it really fast and you know these little cutes are cute and but sometimes you know the little spine is like this and you want to make a book out of it and you want a bigger spine so you can actually stitch in signatures but um yeah i i love it it's really simple really um so i think i'll use a different trim here uh, i have these little bows and i think i want to use it because i really like them Mm. or no I like the bows so let's let's see how it looks with this I have these these ones so I think I'll use that let's see if I do that it's gonna cover my little red hen title too much so Let's see what else I have. Uh, this is my vintage place. Let's see if I find something here. A little nice trim that I can use for the edge gotta be oh how about that one i like that one and i think it matches my fabric let's try that and see oops this is pretty it's dainty no it's too see-through sorry guys i should have planned this out better but this was an impromptu video I was working on it and I decided, oh, wait a minute. This is the perfect opportunity to show you how I do. Oh, how about this one? Let's see if it's too see through. Mm, that one's cute. It's just to cover that raw edge of the fabric. I think I'm going to use that one. Then we can make a tassel or something hanging from the spine when I get back on it. I love my vintage laces. I'm obsessed. The lady must have been a seamstress or something. She had a whole bunch and I grabbed it all. I was mad greedy. <laughs> So now I just cover up that ugly raw edge and I won't lose my title. See? See? side but you know what this side I need to cut this a little bit more because it's it's a little too crooked 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 let's not get too crazy and leave it so because then the lace won't cover the whole thing I'm still in my pajamas guys can you believe it it's just a lazy day today That's better. Like my little granddaughter says, that's much better. Hope I'm not boring you guys. If I knew how to edit, I would speed up a lot of this, but 
I don't know. When I'm watching a video, I like um, I like when they do it like this because I can really see what they're doing. Okay, guys, and you have a cover. I hope that wasn't very confusing. What do you think? Good? So now my little book will look like this. And I will put metal corners. I love putting metal corners. And even here, look, I got glue. Even here, I might go with a little bit of Mod Podge and just run my finger like this. You know what I mean? So that um, the cover doesn't keep peeling or anything and then I'll put metal corners there so I think it came out cute <laughs> hi Aisha no it's it's not going to be big it is actually going to be five five and a half by six and three eighths and I just got a two inch spine so yeah I think it looks cute and then the inside I want to leave just like that because look at those images they are super cute and I'm just going to put some metal metal corners on and I think I'll go with the bronze and I'll show you how I put those on. And then our cover is done. And then we can work on signatures and just put them in. I, I'm also going to be making an ugly duckling. I've been uh, collecting things and I, I think I'm ready. But this is going to be the ugly duckling. It's a nice story, you know. And I have another one that I got to put in there. But when I do my corners, I to get a good adhesion, I like to open them a little bit. And if this was covered in fabric, I would do this very last after I have my fabric on. But since I'm not going to be adding any more fabric to this cover, I am safe to do it now. The little tickets. <laughs> what little tickets Aisha hey guys if you guys haven't checked out Aisha check her out she has an awesome channel she makes journals too beautiful journals I was lucky enough to win one of her journals and I love it I write everything in there ideas and how my day went and how I'm feeling and everything so once I open up my little Corners, I like to add a little bit of glue. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I just put in the shop. Yeah, I put a whole bunch of little ephemera um, junk journal supply stuff in my shop. Finally. <laughs> I put a little bit of glue on either side and then I just put them in squeeze them in and then holding it so that they're not all discombobulated I just squeeze with my pliers and you get a nice um, snug fit on your book see and I will do the same for this one squeeze in and then while you're holding it and some glue will see through but you just wipe it off really fast and it's like it never happened yeah I have a I have quite a few of them I'm already getting orders on them I'm gonna have to get my hands on more Yeah. 
yeah you're talking about these guys like this kind of thing right i have a whole bunch in the shop yeah i just listed a whole bunch of supplies today and the last one you squeeze i squeeze in like this and then i hold it and i clamp it and that glue is going to give it that extra hold as well and our cover is done see I already wiped this down and everything but it's an old book it's from the 50s so and now we will be working on our little red hen a little glue here I could see and that's the beauty of the fabric tack it just wipes right off all right guys so I hope that was helpful thank you for hanging out with me and if you have any questions let me know and I will be more than happy to answer them all right all right guys and I like see how it, it looks we have the indentation, which is the outside of your spine. Love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. If you want to, to see um, more videos like this, me just crafting and uh, messing up, <laughs> let me know. And I will do that. And if you can, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. All right, guys. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> you too. Be blessed. Um, Do you want me to do a process video? I don't know if people will be interested in that. You guys let me know. Uh, I can do that. I can do process videos. So, show you how I put it together and how I put my... Okay. Put my signatures and things together so i will do that i will next video is going to be how i put together my signatures and how i coordinate um you know my papers and everything how i lay them out and we'll make handmade ephemera to put in here because you know i like my flips and things all right so yeah that'll be the next video most likely maybe later on today or or tomorrow all right guys all right Thank you for hanging out, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.